So palm oil is here to stay. Um, we've already talked about, uh, the, the other panelists have talked about using the land that's allocated for all agriculture um, intensively and about yields, getting the most product out of the same parcel of land. And palm oil, by virtue of its high yield, the highest yield of any edible oil seed crop um, is the, the right choice if it's produced sustainably. If we replace it with other oils, we're going to find that we need more land. So what we call on is for all the stakeholders, all the supply chain members of the palm oil industry play their part in ensuring that the, um, the production and consumption of palm oil is sustainable. Next slide, please. And again, my computer is slow, so maybe you're seeing the slide before I am. <laughs> so uh, we are, we are. I'm so sorry. Um, so we've already talked about what sustainable palm oil means in the briefest of terms: no deforestation, no peat, no exploitation. Um, and of course, it's much more complicated than that. It's several um, well, over 100 pages of, of indicators and so forth. Um, we, like most NGOs um, and experts working on this issue of sustainable palm oil, do not support a blanket boycott of palm oil for a number of reasons. First of all, it's quite um, impractical from a consumer's point of view. Uh, okay, I've, here in the EU, uh, products, food products containing palm oil must declare, in fact, any vegetable oil that's used must be declared on the ingredients list on the package. Um, so you're going shopping, you need to read every every list. It's a bit of a hidden ingredient. It's not like picking up a jar of coffee or, or a bar of chocolate um, where you're looking at the coffee or chocolate. You're going to find it as a hidden ingredient in about 50% of products, um, packaged products in, in the supermarket. And derivatives, of which there could be a few hundred, of palm oil are labeled um, using their uh, chemical names. So the idea of reading through labels of every single um, product you buy uh, and deciding whether you're going to purchase it or not is, is not really practical from a consumer point of view. Now, it's also ineffective. I, I really doubt that enough um, consumers around the world, in fact, despite calls uh, from well-meaning uh, uh, people for uh, boycotting palm oil, uh, that's not picked up any traction. It hasn't slowed down palm oil production one bit. Even companies that are using free from claims are not really making any impact, any positive impact on what's happening on the ground. Um, and the message, let's say you put your chocolate bar or your, your biscuit back on the shelf because it contains palm oil. And let's just say for the sake of argument that enough people do this that companies are compelled to look at their ingredients or, or, or the industry is going to change. Well, first of all, I, I don't think it's going to get, that message is going to get there. I think the message is, oh, we're not selling this product. We need to make a new advertising campaign or a different uh, packaging design. Okay, let's say that we get enough momentum, millions of people around the world are boycotting palm oil um, and the palm oil industry comes to a grinding halt in the tropics. Well, these countries, need to produce um, food, they need to produce income, um, they are feeding a global population. And remember, palm oil is the, the only affordable cooking oil for many rural poor in places like, like Indonesia. Um, so they will turn to another crop. And as we've shown in other slides and other presentations, these other crops are more land hungry, and that will put even greater uh, pressure on the uh, uh, forest and biodiversity. If you can go to the next slide, I forgot about my slides. <laughs> and um, so we really call upon um, companies, manufacturers, retailers, um, supply, uh, the, the consumers to understand there's no quick, quick fixes to, um, the, to palm oil. The slow fixes is ensuring sustainable production and consumption. Um, the impacts of going away from palm oil and choosing alternatives are no solution. We believe that the best um, alternative to palm oil is sustainable palm oil. Next slide, please. Mm -hmm. 
And I'm still waiting for my slide on my page. Here they come, here they come. Yeah, comes a, a quick word that we know in Italy, especially there's a large movement towards um, uh, PR campaigns that are celebrating companies moving away from palm oil. Um, as, as somebody concerned about the impacts on the ground, I find this uh, deceptive and counterproductive. Um, removing palm oil does not save, save orangutans, does not save rainforest. Choosing sustainable palm oil does. Next slide, please. Um, I think it just talks about yeah, the, um, the the other, other reasons why uh, a boycott is not really a solution. We could talk more about that maybe in Q&A. And then the final slide um, is just say thank you and encourage people to be choosing sustainable palm oil as a way to sustainably feed the growing demand for, for uh, oil seed crops across the, the world.